So I just saw this on Reddit and I really wanted to explain it to you guys. And this is from the subreddit r slash unexpected factorial. I didn't know what's a thing, and in fact, it has over 55,000 members. I will leave the link to this post in the description, that way you can go check that out. Now, let's go over what's happening here. We have 196 minus 182 times 0 0.5, and it says the answer is equal to 7. How is this possible? Let's have a look. 196 minus 182 times 0 0.5. Well, if you just start from left to right, 196 minus 182, you get 14. After that, multiply by 0 0.5. It's as saying take half of that. Half of 14, we get 7. Huh? Okay. But as we all know, this is not correct. There was no parentheses around this and that. Here is just a subtraction. Here is the multiplication. So we are supposed to multiply first based on the order of operations. So 196 minus 182 times 0 0.5. We should really do the multiplication right here first. Here is 196 minus. Go ahead and multiply 182 by 0.5. We'll take half of that. You get 91. And then 196 minus 91, we get 105. Done. Why did they say 7? This right here is totally incorrect. Oh, so is the post wrong? Well, don't forget where we are at. We are at r slash unexpected factorial. It's not, it's not just 7. It's 7 with two exclamation marks after that, right? So what exactly is this though? Here is the deal. Note, here if you have just one exclamation mark, this right here is the regular factorial, meaning you start with 7 and then you are going to multiply the next number which is 6 and then you multiply the next number which is 5 and then 4, 3, 2, 1 and then you can just work that out. The number is a little bit too big, I think it's 80, 40. No, 50, 40. All right, here's the thing though. When we have two of them, this is the double factorial. When we have seven with this and that, the way that you read it is, take this as a notation, the double factorial, this doesn't mean that you do this first and then do the factorial again. No, it's not like that. The double factorial means you start with this number, which is 7. And if this is an R number, you're just going to go to the next R number, which is going to be 5, and you multiply. And then you go to the next R number, which is 3. And then you go to the next number, which is 1. Just like that. If you have an even number such as 8, then you will do 8 times 6 times 4 times 2. So, 7 double factorial, you multiply this out, and you will end up with 105, like that. So, as you can see, based on the correct word of operation, you end up with 105, or you can also write it as 7 double factorial, to make it look legitimate. No, it looks like 7-Eleven, but anyway though, just like this. So in fact, there are more factorials than the regular factorial. I have a video on 7 more factorials that you might not have seen before. It's right here, you can go check that out.